Greetings, Japan fans. Well, today we're going to talk about one of those fallouts from having a global business and things becoming more globalised, where you have to lead projects across multiple countries, multiple time zones, with varying degrees of interest in what it is you want to happen. And welcome back to the Leadership Japan series. I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Rick Story, your corporate coaching and training guy, the president of Dale Kenny Train Japan and the best selling author of Japan Sales Mastery. We are broadcasting around the world from Minato Ku in the center of Tokyo, the leadership capital of Japan. Now, this podcast brings insights, examples, and experience about leading in Japan. And trust me, it is different here. If you have feedback on the show, or have preferences about potential future topics, then leave us your comments. You might also enjoy the Presentation Japan series and the Sales Japan series, wherever you get your podcast. Now, this one on leadership, we release it every week, Wednesday, midnight, Tokyo time. If you would like any questions you have answered live by me, then just put in the email header, I am based in dot, 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 wherever you live, you know, Paris, I don't know, St. Louis, Sydney, Bangkok, wherever. And I'm interested in joining your live leadership Q&A. And send it to greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. That's G-R-E-G dot S-T-O-R-Y at dalecarnegie.com. Now, I'm planning to do a Zoom meeting with everyone, and we will record it for those who can't make it. Tell me your location, because I may do a couple of versions to best suit your time zone. You can contact me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. That's G-R-E-G dot S-T-O-R-Y at dalecarnegie. One word, D-A-L-E-C-A-R-N-E-G-I-E dot com. Before we get going, today's handy Japanese phrase is... Please uh, show me that one. Sore misete kudasai. Sore misete kudasai. Please show me that one there. Sore misete kudasai. Can you show me that one? Sore misete kudasai. Sore misete kudasai. Please show me that one. Sore misete kudasai. Sore misete kudasai. This is episode number 315, 315. And today we're talking about leading projects across multiple offices. What a nightmare this is, dealing with different time zones, work styles, understandings, offers, commitments, and varying degrees of time consciousness. Big projects bring big headaches with them, especially when the client wants something done in a hurry across multiple markets. In a global world of business, these types of challenges are only going to increase. The hard bits are when you have to rely on others for vital information. The client has a formula which suits their situation, if you're dealing with the procurement officers, they want to get all down to one-size-fits-all spreadsheets. The fact that you are being asked to fit the square peg in the round hole is of no interest to them. They want to engage comparisons of cost across all the potential suppliers participating in the beauty parade. This has the effect of warping some of the information from certain markets. Even in the same organisation, not everyone offers exactly the same thing across all markets. These regional or market variations become a nightmare when you're trying to frog march them into the designated spreadsheet cells. Nevertheless, you have to do it because there are no other options and the client isn't helpful around catering for your organisational differences. Actually, like in politics, they say that people from your own political party are usually the biggest problem more so than the opposition parties. Well, getting cooperation across countries can get tricky because the buy-in to the project can differ quite a bit. Maybe the size of their part of the deal isn't that major. They see this as a mild annoyance rather than an opportunity to build a relationship with the client. Usually we're, we are fairly scanty in our explanation of what they need to do. We are super busy with a hard stop timeline looming. So we forget to give them the big picture and we just ask for pricing, etc. 
We're usually communicating across time zones, so there's always that loss of time. As a result, we have to wait 12 hours for a reply or sometimes much longer. The key person is away on holidays and purposely incommunicado. Their subordinates don't make a move without authorization from the boss, so you're easily stymied and lose time as a result. As the deadline gets closer, panic starts to reign supreme because you've had to make the client deadline to stay in the race for consideration for the prize. Late entries leave a bad impression with the buyers, especially if your competitors are obviously much better organised and coordinated. Find out more when we come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our Step Up the Leadership program. This is a one-day program that takes you through all the basics you need to make that jump from being a player to a leader. Now, you may be a player leader or a player manager in this case, but still, you have to lead, you have to manage, you have to be in charge of other people. You weren't responsible for them before. You just said, look after yourself. You only had accountability for your results. Now, you're accountable for their results and your own. So how do you do that? What is involved? Now, you've got to communicate differently. Hey, you've got to coach people. And guess what? They're not like you. They're not as good as you, perhaps. And you've got to do their performance evaluations as well. One day we cover all of that excellent program. Next one, September the 2nd. Get that in your diary, September 2nd for the next Step Up the Leadership program. If you need something more in-depth, then our Leadership Training for Managers program is the one. That's a seven-week program. Very involved. Goes through everything. This is often very good in Japan for leaders who are not really trained as leaders. They have been promoted on the basis of age and stage, and here they are now in an important position, but really got no clue what they're doing, don't have the basics, don't have the groundwork, haven't been invested in before. You need to invest in them. You need to make them better. We're all going to work till they're 75, so these people are going to be around for a long time. Let's get them organised. Get them into leadership training for managers. Next program, November the 5th. November the 5th. All the details will step up to leadership, which is on September 2nd, and leadership training for managers on November the 2nd can be found on our website, enjapan.dalecarnegie.com. Now, our website has got a lot of good stuff there as well besides that. And also, you should email me. I can help you with lots of things in Japan. Go to greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Watch the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show on our YouTube channel, which is at Japan Dalcony TV. We've got over 800 videos there for you if you like learning by watching video. And you've got to get my book. If you're interested in persuading Japanese, you need my book, Japan Sales Mastery. Yes, it's mainly for sales, but it deals with the whole acumen part around what it needs to be persuasive and get people to agree with you in Japan, which isn't that easy normally. So a good book to have. Welcome back. So, first of all, there's a matter of getting the right information. You attach updates to the slide deck that will be used in the presentation of the buyer so that everyone can see what they are required to do. Now, you think that this makes it quite obvious for them, and still you can start getting piecemeal information back that doesn't provide the data you need. Some people don't even open the slide deck and read it. With such a tight deadline, how could that be, you ask? What do we need to do instead? Firstly, be highly proactive. Use phone, email, and social media messaging to make contact with the key players and get them to agree to participate. We also want them to designate who will be the counterparty in their organisation for you to work with. Often the big boss is just too busy to help with that level of detail that you want. All you need from them is their agreement to participate and then often it is better to start interacting with someone else in their team, someone closer to the action. Start with explaining the why in some detail so that everyone has better context on what this is about and the level of importance to be attached to it. Here is a critical point. Be very detailed and specific in telling them what they have to do. Checklists are great for this. Just babbling away in an email can sometimes mean they forget to provide key data, certain key data, giving you only three pieces out of the four you need. 
When you look back as to why that happened, it is often the case that you were not demanding and specific enough about telling them what they had to do. Check in regularly to get a progress report. The worst thing is when you imagine something is happening and in fact it isn't. This is when you run out of time completely and you have to move heaven and earth to get it done. The wear and tear on everyone is tremendous. Expect mistakes and miscommunication. When we're dealing with representatives from various countries, the common language may be English, but the levels of English can differ considerably. This is why you have to spell it out so that there's as little room for misinterpretation as possible. Asking for feedback may be blocked because they don't feel fully capable of explaining what they think in English. Sometimes you have to just harvest what data you need and use your own common sense to bring things to fruition. Better to make the deadline and ask for forgiveness later than miss the client deadline. Begin by anticipating this will be a nightmare and start from that basis. Expect non-completion of tasks, insufficient data supply, mistakes, no answers to your emails, and ridiculously tight deadlines set by the client to selfishly suit their situation. Now, you are ready to rumble. Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan series. If you found the program useful, to tell your family, friends, and colleagues. If you have any questions you'd like answered live by me, then just put in the email header. I am based in the name of your city, wherever that is, and am interested in joining your live leadership Q&A. And send it to greg.story at dalecunningy.com. I'm planning to do a Zoom meeting with everyone and we will record it for those who can't make it. Tell me your location because I may do a couple of versions to best suit your time zone. Remember, you can contact me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. Also, remember, you can access your Dale Carnegie training free reports, white papers, ebooks, training videos, blogs, newsletters, course information, plus much, much more at enjapan.dalecarnegie.com. Watch our videos at Japan Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. Start reading Japan Sales Mastery. Listen to my other podcast, the Presentation Japan series and the Sales Japan series. Wherever you get your podcast, watch my TV show, The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, on YouTube. It comes out every Tuesday. Until the next episode, take what you thought valuable, put it into action, because idea application is what makes winners winners. So be one of them. Bye.